Besides beer and baseball, St. Louis's identity is as a river city. And that brings to mind, well, the steamboats of the past and the barges today. But to really survive and to thrive today as a river city in the middle of the country, you can't just think about boats. You have to think about bridges. And that was the topic one day in late August on a special trip by the Becky Thatcher. Usually the boat takes tourists and other passengers for some sightseeing and some history talks. But this time, media and other guests were on board for a lesson in transportation infrastructure. The boat headed further upriver than usual to the Merchant's Bridge. It is far north of downtown and used only by railroads. And while it is one of the city's lesser known bridges, it does not mean it's less important. It was built in 1890 and for the past several years has been being rebuilt in stages, section by section. This trip was bringing people to see the final truss that would finish the job. And officials were on hand to explain just why this was such a big deal, not for commuters, but for a very different kind of traffic flow. So in general, uh, freight traffic's anticipated to grow through the uh, time period of 2050, uh, about 50% over it is now. And we already have congestion at today's levels. This is gonna add double the, this is gonna double the capacity of the bridge. In fact, when we asked the barge industry, what's your number one infrastructure project? They said the Merchants Rail Bridge. And that's because their barge rates are dependent on rail rates. And that's because of that interconnectivity of all the modes working together. And if one mode is not operating efficiently, it impacts all the modes of, of transportation. It's a big deal today. It was even a bigger deal 132 years ago. The Merchants Bridge was dedicated on May 3rd of 1890. The governors of Missouri and Illinois, David R. Francis and Joseph Pfeiffer, they each took trains to the new bridge and then walked to the center to shake hands. Eight-year-old Josephine Cobb read a poem and christened the new bridge. There was a parade, there were speeches, there were dinners, and plenty of talk about a new St. Louis. One speaker said the trade of St. Louis will bound forward like a wild gazelle. This bridge was St. Louis's second rail bridge, built to break the monopoly the Eads Bridge owners had on rail traffic and bridge charges. And the Merchants Bridge project was what we would today call a public-private partnership. Today's rebuilding took the same kind of effort. We had both Missouri and Illinois Departments of Transportation, two state agencies, then working with manufacturing logistics companies on both sides of the river, all modes of transportation, rail, barge, truck, and our airports. We all work collectively together, along with the East-West Gateway Council of Governments, our Metropolitan Planning Organization, and that's where we had public-private sector leaders working together, setting transportation priorities. Getting those trusses in place takes a lot of time, so it is best to speed up the video to see the barges moving it into position. Then very, very slowly, it is lifted into place. Uh, this has been the my favorite project I've ever seen. It's not the biggest I've ever been on, but it is a, a fantastic project, once in a lifetime project. When it was done, there was once again a gathering of representatives from two states, businesses, and the Terminal Railroad. On behalf of the TRRA, I'd like to welcome you all to the September 15th, 2022 grand reopening of the Merchant's Bridge. Yes. Completion means the Merchant's Bridge will once again be back in business with two-way rail traffic at optimum speeds. For most of us, this will all be out of sight. But for many who watch the regional economy, not out of mind. For Living St. Louis, I'm Jim Kirchner.